Good morning guys. Figured it's time for another update. Seems like all I ever do around here is redo stuff that I've already built. Running into issues. Uh, <clears throat> working on the doors. Trying to make room for window regulators. Glass. Tracks. And my bear claw door latches. And everything's trying to take up the same space. So show you what I'm at here for dilemmas. So we got the uh, window crank, had to relocate the window regulator, used to be bolted in these two holes, now it's in these two, change the mount, put a lower mount in, this used to be bolted well over here, uh, I've got the, uh, the window, so let me get you in the right spot here was up and down pretty nice don't have to worry too much about that part where the issues are is in here everything's trying to take up the same spot where the track is so the uh, bear claw mount was mounted flush here I had to cut the mounting plate out. I moved it out about 3 16 of an inch. That has caused me issues with clearance on the door jam where the, the big washer is that locates the, the striker stud. So I'm still dealing with that. Now what my plan is using these uh, shaved door kits, I got the 85 pound kit which I've been told is a little bit of an overkill. But I think I've got it figured out here. Uh, just let me just set up right. So here's the bear claw latch. It has 3 eighths of an inch of travel to release it. The solenoid has 3 quarters of an inch of travel. So to stop everything from binding, I've made a bell crank that when it moves three quarters of an inch here, it moves three eighths of an inch here. Now, I've been really fighting with what to do for door handle on the inside, and watching Waylon Wire uh, channel the other day, his new video on uh, I think it's a 36 or 38 Chev two tonnies, putting that 702 V12 in. I noticed that it had a door handle that was mounted up near the top here and all you did was there was a handle through and all you did was slide it. So I'm going to do the same thing only I'm going to mount it down here below the bottom stroke of the window regulator. So down here the slide should be right about here just above your leg. The solenoid will be mounted over here. The bell crank will be mounted here with an arm coming up to the bear claw. Should all work in theory. I've got it all figured out here on my cardboard pattern. What I've done in case there's excess pull is these are going to be thir three quarter inch or sorry quarter inch steel rods that'll tie everything together. This Z bend in it will allow uh, a little bit of flex if the, the uh, solenoid pulls too hard, uh, which it shouldn't because three quarters of an inch here is all it'll pull and that's all it requires to release the door latch. So I'm going to continue working on this, see how things pan out and I'll keep you posted. I'll do a little bit of a demonstration on how I built this slide out of a 3 8 bolt and some uh, 3 8 inside diameter tubing as well as how I uh, fabricated my window crank. That'll be on the next video. Hopefully I can get this all worked out and we can go from there. Take care guys. Subscribe. Hit the bell. I'll let you know whenever there's a new video. Thanks guys.